In the lesson here, the teacher briefly prepares each sentence by saying what it's about, then reads it aloud as the students follow. She then guides the class to identify each chunk of information by saying what it means and asking a student to say the words. The teacher asks individual students in turn so that they all get to participate actively and get affirmed. She then directs the class to highlight the exact words and discusses their meaning in more depth. This may involve defining words, explaining concepts, or asking students to interpret meanings. This is a very effective way to combine classroom management with learning the curriculum and developing skills in reading. So, let's now look at it in detail and prepare to be writing it ourselves. So we're going to go through sentence by sentence now. So you've got your highlighters there and we're going to identify the key words in the text. Coming back up, we've looked at the big structure of the text. Coming back up to the phenomenon, that first sentence is talking about what's going to be explained. Yeah? It's talking about why, why it's called the water cycle overall. Alright, so I'll read you the sentence. Water is found in many different forms on Earth and is constantly moving from one place to another. As it moves, it changes state in cycles from liquid water to water vapour, sometimes to ice and back to liquid again. Alright, so Zach, can you tell me what is this all about? What's the beginning there? Water. water. Fantastic, that's right. Can we all highlight the word water please? The very first word in our text. Okay, so it goes on to say water is found in many different forms, but what is the water doing? Have a look through your sentence. Rodney, what is the water doing? It's um, constantly moving. Excellent. Can you give me a little bit more information from, about that? From one place to another. Okay, so let's highlight that whole section that it's constantly moving from one place to another. Fantastic. Okay, the next sentence gives us something else that the water is doing. And I've read it to you before. As it moves, it Forks. Alex. As it moves, Forks. it changes. Changes. Changes what? Changes state. state. Remember, state's the scientific word we use for whether it's a solid, a liquid, or a gas, or what form it's in. So can we highlight changes state? Okay. So can we highlight the in cycles as well? So we've actually got those four words highlighted together. Changes state in cycles. So what were those states again? The end of the sentence names them. So Amen, from liquid to water, water vapour. Okay, that's the key that it's a gas, our word vapour. So if we can highlight liquid water and water vapour. Peter, can you see sometimes then we might get a solid. What's our name for, a, for solid water? Yeah, and then back to... What's the end of the sentence there? The last one for us to highlight. Liquid in back to liquid again. So there are two sides to the water cycle. The water might have travelled a long way from ocean to get to the mountains or a long way through a long river system. But it's also changing state. It changes from liquid to gas to liquid, maybe to solid, and then back again all the way through the cycle. What happens to it in the atmosphere? It becomes cold. Cold. Excellent. So when it becomes cold, what are we forming? Forms cloud. Thank you, Ong. Um, excellent. So can we highlight, just make sure we've highlighted the word cold and forms clouds. Good. Why do you think in the diagram that we have a change in the colour of the clouds? What might that be related to? What's going on? Alex? So it's the idea of what it's going to rain. Yeah, so what must be happening in the clouds? It's getting dark. It gets darker and it gets heavier. And it gets... What's in this cloud? Water in what state? As it could be icy and falling <laughs> on the mountains as, as sleet or even as snow. But there's more liquid water and solid water. There's more condensation that's happened. That's right. So when you get the lighter, fluffier clouds, they might still be just in the process of the water coming from the vapour back to the liquid. But you know it's going to be a real downpour when the skies get dark. Don't you? Notice how engaged all students in this class are in the task and the topic that they're studying. This teacher has no problems with classroom management because she's engaging them all in learning by giving them all success. 